Okay, welcome to Dragonworks. I'm glad you could join us. What is this? Why is it such a big deal? Well, I'm about to tell you. Now, it may not be a big deal to most of you, but it is a big deal to me. This is a 1981 Honda CB900 custom engine. And obviously it's out of a CB900 custom motorcycle. This is originally a one owner motorcycle. Uh, the customer, you know, bought it new in 8081, what have you. And he rode it till about 1984 with only 6,000 some miles on it. And the engine started to smoke. So the customer started to disassemble the engine to see what's happening. And of course, like the rest of us, life got in the way and he didn't get back to it. And 40, almost 40 years later, uh, he was moving or what have you, and he decided to give the motorcycle to the son. And the son uh, sought me out and located me on YouTube, saw my video on the other uh, CB900 Custom that I did uh, a few years back and said that, you know, I seem like a good, genuine guy, did nice work, and he only wanted me to do it. So I appreciate that. Um, I, they just left. Father and son came and delivered this thing, which is really cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Because when he told me the story, I had no idea that the dad was coming too. So that was really cool. And I got to meet them both. Great guys. Uh, the reason this is a big deal is because, well, it's a big deal to me, not to you. But uh, they drove 10 hours from Indiana here to Martinsburg, West Virginia to drop this motor off for me to do it. And to me, that's a, that's a big commitment. <laughs> and uh, I told him, I really appreciate that. I've been telling you guys lately, I get, I get comments from all over the world, actually. Uh, they catch me on YouTube and they catch me on Facebook or whatever. And I got followers from countries I never even heard of, which is really cool. But every day somebody contacts me in the United States wanting to bring something but most people don't follow through with it. Uh, usually talk a lot about it. And uh, this guy followed through. So to me, that's a big deal. Um, this is really what I like to be doing is working on this vintage stuff. Uh, you see the GS1100 behind there. I just did a video, another video on that. And uh, you saw the other CB900 that I did a while back. And I... I'm going to start transitioning my business to doing vintage stuff and custom builds and things like that because that's really what I enjoy doing and all this everyday repair stuff is actually just getting in the way and clogging up my brain and uh, in the business and it's taken me away from these other customers that have been so patient waiting for their stuff to get done but basically what I got to do here is I got to tear the top end off of this motor and see what's going on. And uh, I'm going to get the camera out of here for you. Sorry. Got to see what's going on with it, make a determination and get back with the customer about what it's going to take. And like I say, don't look like much to you guys right now, um, but wait till you see it done. And uh, we don't know what's going on yet. So that's my job is to determine what's happening. But uh, it's a big day for me because, like I say, people tell me all the time, I had a guy uh, in Illinois that was going to bring a Harley shovelhead motor, never showed up, and another guy recently in New York was going to bring a bike down. Uh, I hear that all the time, and it doesn't happen, but uh, this just kind of shows me that my mind's kind of in the right place, and the customer made a comment that, you know, there just isn't anybody that can work on this stuff anymore. And he said, hey, you seem like a genuine guy that does good work. And it doesn't matter what it takes. I just want it done right. So I, I completely get that. And I would have done the same thing. Uh, if my father gave me something and I wanted it right, I would drive wherever I had to drive to get it right. And that's why it's here. So to me, it's a big deal. It's a big day. I know it's not that exciting for you guys. But to me, um, it's a real boost that I need. And it also confirms what direction I really need to be taking my business. So that transition will probably take a while, of course, but I'm 
kind of leaning towards that. So anyway, I've already uh, bored you for over five minutes now. Um, stay tuned. You'll see a lot more of this as I'm, you know, working on it. I'll show you what I find. I'll show you the process. I know you've seen it a million times. Hone the cylinders, uh, clean the valves up, lap the valves, and uh, we'll see what happens. I, like I say, I don't know what damage is done in there. So that's going to be the first thing. So, all right, guys, stick with this one. 1981 Honda CB900 Custom. And yes, I just have the engine. Uh, they're going to they're gonna do the rest of it. Uh, the father is a certified mechanic or whatever for years, and they have mechanic abilities. They just want me to take care of the, the heart of the thing, and they'll take care of the rest. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. You're going to want to see this one. Peace out.